guys, welcome back. Today I've got a fun video about lipstick and it's actually my favorite pink lipsticks for spring. Um, I've got a little bit of everything and I can't wait to share them with you guys. So, the first one I want to share with you guys is this one. It's, it's a formula that I really love and it's by Dosa Colors and it's called Spill the Deets. Now that right there is Spill the Deets by Dosa Colors and it is a mid-tone pink. It's kind of like a rosy pink. It's so pretty on your lips. It's just quite, um, uh, it's pigmented enough, but it doesn't go on um, gloopy or sticky in any way. Um, it gives your lips such a fresh, uh, youthful look because because I, I think that's what a pink lipstick does. It really does give you that very youthful pout. I just think it's such a lovely color, this Spillity. I just love it. It's so comfortable on the lips. And um, I think really Dosa Colors does lip gloss really, really well. The next one I'll share with you guys is this one by Milani right here. And it's Milani's Blush. It's in the Keep It Full formula and it's a nourishing lip plumper. And so I want to compare this, I would say, with the Buxom's lip glosses, the ones that are, are really kind of pigmented. I have several of those and I have to tell you guys, I prefer this one. This one to me is not quite as sticky when you apply it on your lips. I'll go ahead and give you guys a swatch. That's it right there. That's Milani's blush in the Keep It Full formula. As you guys can tell, it's more of a cool tone pink in comparison to let's say Spill the Deeds. Um, but it, and it's not quite as pigmented as Spill the Deeds. This one is more of a wash of color. You can build it up to get just slightly a little bit more of a color to it, but really it's a wash of color. It's so pretty. And when you apply it with any lip liner, it just gives you such a beautiful, sweet pout. It's the best way to kind of describe it. It's just a really sweet color on your lips. I absolutely love it. I think it's a beautiful lip gloss and if you have it in your collection, I would say pull it out for the spring because I think you will be very happy with it. And so the last gloss I'm going to share with you guys is this one by Wander Beauty and it's in the color Excursion. And when you guys see this, you're going to go spring and it's because it's more of a berry color and sometimes in the spring especially let's say if I'm gonna wear would have worn a red I will tend to pull out more of a berry tone lipstick like this one right here you'll see it right there uh, or a fuchsia pink instead of a red and so I kind of like having this color in my lineup because it is a oil glossy oil and so it's really nice and hydrating on the lips they really are and they also have that cushiony kind of feel on your lips I really do enjoy this kind of a formula on my lips. I have one more. Oops, I had said it was my last lip gloss, but it's not. I have one more that tends to have this kind of a formula where you feel that it is hydrating and glossy. Some Sometimes an oil can simply just be a slippery, slick mess, but that's not the case with these Wander Beauty um, lip retreat oils. They're comfortable, especially if you're coming out of winter and you've lived through a more harsh climate. I live in Florida, so my lips don't tend to get as dry as let's say somebody who lives in Canada, like my friend Julie. Um, but I have Sjogren's and so my lips are always very, very dry and I can really appreciate a product like this when I'm going through some of my driest days. And give myself a little bit of color, but as well keep my lips hydrated and help them to become healthy in the process. I really like this one. The next one I'll share with you guys is this one by M Cosmetics. Now I got this in a little sample pack that they have because I've heard Emily Noel say how much she enjoys the M Cosmetics lip products, but I just don't want to pay $20 for a lip gloss. I think that's just a lot. So when I saw that they had this little set, I was like, you know what? I'll pick that up. Now this one is of the called the it's called the True Gloss and Lotus Blossom. And let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch of Lotus Blossom. You know what I also like about this particular lip gloss is this is something I may actually get through because it's a lot smaller. It has how many? It has 1.2 milliliters, milliliters in comparison to let's say the Keep It Full, the Milani Keep It Full, it has 3.7 milliliters. So you know it's a third of what's in here and I might actually be able to finish something like this. But in either case, this is another one that kind of falls in that whole category that instead of wearing a red, I will pull something in like this and, it, and you guys will see it right there. It's got a bit more of a raspberry to it, a little bit warmer than let's say the top two, which are a little bit cooler, the Wonder Beauty one and the Milani, those are a little bit more cool. But this is just slightly a little bit more warm with a little bit of a raspberry to it. So pretty on the lips. Again, so youthful and fresh and feminine because it does, you know, draw a little bit of attention to your lips, but at the same time, it's still a gloss. So it's, it's a little bit more subdued. Now, what I will say about this formula, it's really, really nice. It's nice and cushiony and soft. And when you apply them on your lips, 
lips. It's almost like gel-like maybe. It's the best way to describe it. It's really nice. That being said, would I buy a full size? I would if it was on sale. Like if, if it was $10 versus the 20 that they are on the M Cosmetics site, I would pick up two and be happy. However, I don't, I'm not sure I would pay $20 for this as a lip gloss. I think it's really, really nice. And for the kit that I got where I got to sample quite a few things, I think it was absolutely worth it. And I really do think as a spring color, it's perfection. So next we're going to move into what I would consider more of a balmy lipstick. You guys know, again, I said it before, my lips are very dry and sometimes I just need to wear something on my lips that gives me a little bit of color so that I don't look so um, drab and, but at the same time helps my lips to heal because they are so dry and they hurt. And so I think one of those that I really enjoy, and I, and I mentioned this in a uh, beauty phase that I filmed earlier this year, because I do enjoy this Nivea, um, lip care. And this is the one I like the best of the three that I own. And it's the color watermelon. Not only is it the color watermelon, like you see right there, it's also the smell of watermelon. It's a really nice scent. And so let's go ahead and give you a swatch of this one right here. As you guys can see, it that truly wash is more. of color, but it, when you put it on your lips, Oh, it just looks, again, so youthful and fresh. I love this one. I, I think I'm going to repeat myself because over and over, that's kind of like the look that I'm looking for in the spring. Something that is very youthful, that is fresh, that gives my skin, a my lips, that gives my face a little bit of color so that I just don't look quite as dry because I don't have any color from the sun right now. But in either case, I think it's a lovely lip balm. If you can find this, I got mine at Ulta. I highly recommend the formula. If you have it in your house, pull it out, wear it. I think that this will be one of those things that I will roll into my um, pro rolling project pan when I finish one of the two that I have in my rolling project pan because I know that this is something that I will gladly finish up and use because I just love the scent. I love the texture of it. It's just such a nice, smooth, and comfortable lip balm. The next one I'll share with you guys is a new release from Revlon, but I think it's a remake. <laughs> I think that they brought back the lip butters um, that were so popular back, I don't know, maybe five years ago. I love those lip butters and I finished off several of those lip butters. So I could see myself actually finishing this one as well. What is it you ask? It's the Revlon um, Shine in the color Beaming Strawberry. It's so pretty. So I guess they're called Revlon Super Lustrous Shine lipsticks and the color Beaming Strawberry. That's the name. <laughs> but that right there is a swatch of Beaming Strawberries. And as you guys can see, it really is more of a bomb compared to the glosses that both of the, the bombs I've shared with you have a little bit less pigmentation, but on the lips, they're, they are just so comfortable and easy to wear. You don't have to worry about wearing a lip liner, but if you choose to wear it with a lip liner, it will um, elongate how long the lips, these lip balms will last on your lips. You know, really, this may last an hour, an hour and a half. I don't mind reapplying this kind of a product again because my lips are so dry, but if I want it to last just that little bit longer, I will apply a lip liner underneath and it will help uh, make it a little bit deeper, the saturation of the lip color, but it also will help with the longevity of it on my lips. I think this is a beautiful formula. It has a very light scent, but not is it maybe a vanilla? A very slight vanilla smell. I mean, so slight that I'm not even sure it's vanilla, but I really do like this one. It's the only one I have from this uh, line. So the next lipstick I'll share with you guys is from Wet n Wild. And these are also new releases. I have it in three colors and I really shouldn't have bought three. I should have just picked up one. But um, at the time I hadn't given myself that rule. But at this point, I'm only picking up one of any new release that I'm interested in because I don't need that many new lipsticks. And this one is in the color Color pinky ring. It's such a nice formula, guys. This is what it looks like. Isn't that the cutest tube? It reminds me so much of the Pat, Pat McGrath. I won't buy a Pat McGrath lipstick, so I'm really happy I have this. So let me go ahead and give you guys a swatch. So that right there is Pinky Ring from Wet n Wild. It's the last one. And of the bombs that I've shared with you, that one is the most uh, pigmented. And when you do apply it, it you can see it. It's not quite as um, it's not quite as much of a wash. It's really almost as pigmented as a, a lipstick. It's really pretty on the lips. It's very youthful and quite. Um, again, pigmented. I really do like it. The texture of it is nice and smooth. It's very comparable to the Revlon lip butters or this one in the Shine formula. It's very comparable to that, only this particular color is slightly more 
um, saturated. It's such a pretty lip gloss and I think they're like three dollars so I mean they're really really affordable. They're comfortable on the lips like I've said earlier about all the balmy products that I'm sharing with you and it really does look pretty when you apply it on your on your lips. I love this and I like all the other two that I got. I got the color Bellini and then I got a rosier tone one and I don't remember the name of that one. Now this is again another balmy kind of lipstick and these came out was it last year or the year before that um, and this one is the color Riche Shine from L'Oreal and the color Sparkling Rose. Now this is a little bit more of a subdued pink. As you guys can tell right there from the swatch, it's the one above the lipstick, that is Sparkling Rose. Now Sparkling Rose is a little bit warmer of a pink if you compare it, let's say, to Pink Earring from Wet n Wild. But it again has that beautiful, soft, hydrated, comfortable formula that you really don't need a lip liner to apply it with, but it lasts, I don't know, an hour and a half or two. You will have to reapply this, but you won't mind reapplying it because when you do apply it, it will feel refreshing on your lips, especially if you have this dry, dry lips like I do. I think these Color Riche, um, what are they called? Color Riche uh, Shine lipsticks by L'Oreal. They're beautiful. I have several of these, but for spring, I think this is the one that is kind of calling my name. I just think it's such a beautiful, beautiful tone of rosy pink. Um, it just kind of goes in that whole family. You know, I've got different tones of pink. Not one is the same as the other, yet they each can stand on their own and they are all beautiful for my eyes. So next we'll talk about um, lipsticks. These are the four I have for this particular video. And it's the Becca lipstick. Um, I think these are called the Love, uh, Ultimate Love lipsticks. And this is in the color Tulip. Uh, that right there is Tulip from Becca's Ultimate, Lo Ultimate Love lipsticks. I picked this up on National Lipstick Day in 2019 and I was so happy I've got it. Now you might say, is that a pink? Is that a peach? Well, it's a peachy pink or a pinky peach. I don't know, which one do you think it is? However, in this lineup, it has its own place. I have I have a preference for pinky peach lipsticks and this is one of those that I absolutely love. And to me, I don't know, maybe it's the name because it's Tulip. Um, this is spring and this is a beautiful formula. I think Becca's Ultimate Love lipsticks are some of my absolute favorite lipsticks and of, of all time. They uh, have such a nice glide to them. They're smooth on a application. They're not overly drying yet. They last on the lips for quite a bit. They have a nice sweet scent. Again, it's a little bit vanilla -y. I just think they're beautiful and they're affordable. They put these lipsticks on sale quite often. Um, they've shown up here or there at Marshalls. Now, I'm not going to Marshalls to pick them up because right now I'm trying not to go out due to the coronavirus, but I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. And if you can pick it up at a sale price, these are so worth the sale price. The next one I'll share with you guys is another formula that I absolutely love. It's the Tarte Glide and Go Buttery Lipstick in the color Pink Tutu. I picked up like four of these last year when Ulta had them on sale at one point. They're very, very hydrating. Um, Let me give you a swatch. That's it right there. You guys see it. What a pretty color, right? That is really a mid-tone pink, slightly warmer than let's say the ones up here that are really, really cool, but that's really, really, they're beautiful on the lips. This formula, the Buttery Glide and Go, it's the Glide and Go Buttery Lipstick from um, Tarte. It's just a beautiful, beautiful formula on the lips. I think that this and the Ultimate Love lipsticks from um, Becca are probably my top two formulas from any higher end lipstick. Um, I have some Charlotte Tilbury's, I have a YSL, I happen to own some Laura Mercier lipsticks, and I like them, and I even have a NARS or two. I have a couple NARS, and I like those, but I love these two lines of lipsticks from a higher end um, lipsticks. I think they're beautiful formulas, and if you have drier lips like I do, you will absolutely love them. Give them a go. If you can get them on sale, I highly recommend it. And now we'll go to one that I got in my Ipsy bag. Was it in February? And I have never really used a lipstick from the brand Touch and Soul. Um, I've gotten several products from either BoxyCharm or Ipsy 
from this brand, but in truth, I've put them in my drawer and they're in the lineup to come out to play whenever I finish the next thing that I have online. Mostly it's been primers and I think in essence, I think. In either case, it's the first like cosmetics that I've gotten from this brand, Touch and Soul. And this is the Soul Vel Velvet Lipstick and it's the Pretty Filter Soul Velvet Lipstick and I have it in the color Soul Rose, like in Korea, Soul Korea. Um, that's the color right there. It's a bit more vibrant of a lippy. I'll go ahead and give you a swatch. As you guys can see right there, and I'm probably going to have an elbow swatch for the next one. Um, in either case, that's it. It's a much more vibrant of a lip of a pink. Um, it kind of goes a little bit more towards a, a fuchsia pink. But on your lips, it's so um, refreshing and so bright and just a happy lipstick on your lips. I love the formula. As you guys can see, it's just such a smooth formula and that's what it does when you put it on your lips. It's very smooth and comfortable when you put it on your lips. I think that this particular line of lipsticks, I, I think that this lipstick is just gorgeous. Now, I don't know where we would be able to buy any touch and sole lipsticks, but for now, I'm really kind of satisfied with the one I own. I think this will be a color that I'm going to uh, you know, use quite often here in the spring. I, I like pinks and Pinks work well with my complexion, and this kind of a pink, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And then the last one in my lip picks for the spring is this one, and it's by Flower Beauty. And how could I not pick a Flower Beauty lipstick? Flower Spring. <laughs> in either case, wait to hear the name. I'm picking Rosy Garden. <laughs> because I'm ready to have a pretty garden in the spring. In either case, this is the color from um, Flower Beauty. It's a matte from their line. And here we go with my last, last lipstick. There you go. It's kind of similar to the one by um, Touch and Soul, but it's slightly more uh, red in it, I would say, a rosy red to it. It's so pretty. Um, it's just such a youthful, and by youthful, what, I, what I'm referring to is, you know when you look at a little kid's mouth and how bright and um, pigmented their lips naturally are? Some kids, their lips are just so bright and um, almost like ready in tone. That's what this gives you on your lips when you wear it. It's gorgeous on your lips. And the formula is also quite nice. Now, this is the most drying of all the ones I've shared with you guys today. Um, as much as I like Flower Beauty lipsticks, I find that their mattes can be quite drying on me. Now, I realize that because I do have Sjogren's that this is probably more of a personal issue that I have. And so I just wanted to make you aware if your lips are very, very dry, this formula is slightly drier than everything else. I shared with you guys. Now that doesn't take away from it. If I'm going to wear a color quite this pigmented like I showed you guys, I prefer to have something that's a little bit, got a little bit more stick to it. I don't want it moving and kind of, um, you know, getting everywhere. I have long hair and things tend to stick and they, you know, there you go. I've got a mark on my face. I'd rather wear something like this that I know where I put it is where it's going to stay. I think this is a beautiful lipstick. Um, I think that they're available through Flower Beauty and also I, I believe Ulta's carrying them again. There was a little bit where they didn't have them and now they have Flower Beauty again. That makes me happy. However, I'm not sure if Walmart has them still. In either case, I think Flower Beauty does lipsticks well. I prefer their cream formula, but this one in particular from the matte line is gorgeous. Rosy Garden. So guys, that's it. Those are my choices for uh, lipsticks in the spring. It's quite a few of them, right? Um, let me see if I can get them on camera. There you go. Um, see them? They're all right there. Those are just the ones that I think are standout products in my collection. And if you happen to own them, I think you might really enjoy them. And I think you should pull them out and wear them during the spring. Guys, I really appreciate you stopping by and taking a moment to hang out with me. I love talking lipsticks. It's one of those things that brings me a lot of joy and I have quite a bit. So it's easy for me to pull. And I want to use what I own and so I wanted to share with you guys what I'll be pulling for this spring and I think that these are things that colors that you might have something very similar to it in your collection and upon seeing it on me you'll be like oh you know what that kind of looks like go ahead and pull it out of your collection. I may say you won't be disappointed if you pick one up but I don't want to tell you guys to go out and buy anything I'd rather you just pull something that you've already got in your collection and get some good wear out of it. 
Once again, I want to say thank you for stopping by today and spending a few minutes of your day with me. I really do appreciate each one of you that has joined my YouTube family. I've gotten several new subscribers in the last few uh, weeks and I'm really grateful for that. I hope that if it's your first time visiting my channel that you'll take a minute and hit the subscribe button. It really does help my channel grow. I hope you guys have a great day. Please come back and visit me again and you guys be blessed. Bye!